we need to have conversations like this to talk about other mechanisms to protect these diverse family constructions. Families are not one size fits all, and solutions reside in developing alternative benefit structures that include more folks than just those who fit comfortably and willingly into the marriage model. Domestic partnership is one of those alternative structures. Domestic partnership was deliberately never intended to be a stepping stone to marriage. Those who designed it at the beginning, and Paula Edelbrick was one of them, it made it to, uh, as an effort to delink marriage from benefits because it doesn't make sense for employers to hinge your pay on whether you're married. How can we preserve domestic partnership as marriage rights are becoming enshrined? We will lose a lot if we don't. But domestic partnership still limits the dispensation or eligibility for benefits usually to cohabitating couplehood. What more can we envision for other types of family groups? As we see, um, marriage is, um, even though it's been a, it's it's been a hugely and um, and it's been a hugely contested kind of area that has been used to control our communities. Um, it's also been a place where our communities are also trying to grasp at it, as as has been shared um, by our panelists. Um, it's a place where where folks. Um, authentically, in many respects, see it as a place where they can access so social and legal citizenship, um, and so and 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 on a personal level, you know, used to kind of validate their existence, their to be recognized um, or normalcy in in some ways. I've been in communication now with a lot of families, and some of the families that we serve are concerned about the marriage equality uh, conversation and. Uh, continue to really mourn uh, Prop 8. And at their dinner tables, the conversation with their kids, with their neighbors, is around Prop 8, is around family recognition, and is around the very real pain that they uh, experience when they feel invisible, if they feel invisible. Um, it's specifically because a lot of us have bought into this idea of universal uh, recognition of marriage, right? That if we're not called marriage, if, it's, if it looks like a domestic partnership, then we're not good enough. Then we're still a uh, second class citizen. A lot of the propaganda that the conservative uh, um, marriage equality movement has posed forward and a lot of us uh, ate up. I do think that in the end same-sex marriage is ultimately a conservative issue. It doesn't mean it shouldn't be legal, but it does wind up reinforcing notions of a superior family versus the so-called alternative families or the inferior and subordinate families. It is a disproportionately white middle class issue, both in the campaign and in the take-up. And so is marriage a disproportionately white middle class institution. And all you have to do is read demography to see that. So it worried me a lot, and it struck me as very ironic. And I was often dancing a very complicated dance to find a way to be supportive of something that was obviously just within an unjust system. But it's a, it was very much a be careful what you wish for. And part of what you need to be careful of wishing for is the potential loss of domestic partner rights, because domestic partner rights, not just in the US but elsewhere, sometimes allow for other bases for defining family than the sexual relationship between two adults. There have been losses of domestic partnership benefits, losses of um, recognition of parents because courts have said, well, you have marriage now, and so you should just get married. Mm -hmm. um, and that does happen, and we have to really continue to fight against that. Um, for one example is in Massachusetts, after they mm -hmm. um, had marriage, they had previously had a recognition that um, if you had acted as a parent to your child, that you could be recognized as a de facto parent who had um, the ability to seek custody and visitation with your child. Um, and then after same-sex couples were allowed to marry, um, they really started to kind of dial that back a little bit. Did you get married? Maybe you should have just gotten married, and then we could just say that you were parents. Um, and that, you know, that is particularly a danger that we are trying to work against, that if you have marriage, that doesn't mean that that should be the only way that you can establish your family. 